Believe me, I know how weird, how off-putting this video's topic may seem, but honestly, I don't think it should be super important, nor should it be as scary as it may appear at first glance. What we're talking about here is Alexi Lafreniere the projected first overall pick in the 2020 NHL Entry Draft, the guy from the QMJHL's Ramuski Oceanic who is tearing things up and who is legitimately the best QMJHL prospect since Sidney Crosby. Yes, I am saying he is better than Nico Hischier by a mile. Yes, I am going to say that he's better than Nathan McKinnon. It hasn't been since Crosby that we have seen such a good prospect out of the Q. But... There is a lot of buzz around Alexi Lafreniere's name, especially when it comes to Montreal Canadiens fans, mostly because Lafreniere is, very obviously, a French guy. He's from Quebec, and as a result, this is the year that a lot of Montreal Canadiens fans are saying, okay, the draft is in Montreal. Montreal is a bad team. If there was a year to get first and draft the first overall caliber player, it would be this year. Everything would be perfect. The location, the player, the status of the player, and the team selecting him. However, we have this tweet over here from Mikhail Lalancet saying, Alexis Lafreniere se désole lui aussi de l'annulation des séries a du tournoi de la Coupe Memorial, meaning that he is upset, frustrated that the annual Memorial Cup tournament is not going to go on. Now, the tweet also says this, and this is the very meaty part of what we're looking at right here. Alexis Lafreniere a rencontré une vingtaine d'équipes de la all en h en vue du prochain repêchage. Les Canadiens de Montréal n'est pas de cela. Now, if you don't speak French, which the majority of my audience probably doesn't, this means that Alexis Lafreniere met with about 20 NHL teams for the next draft. The Canadiens were not one of them. So... What we have here is a player in Alexi Lafreniere doing the pre-draft interviews with 20 NHL teams. And funny enough, the Habs were not a part of that bunch. What does this mean? Why is everybody freaking out? And why should we not be freaking out if we're Habs fans? This is kind of the thing that I wanted to bring up. The fact that Alexis Lafreniere is absolutely 110% a really, really good player. The thing is, everybody knows that. And everybody knows that he is going to be a star. If he is not drafted first overall, he'll be drafted second overall. And that's pretty much where the discussion ends. A lot of people were taking a look at this tweet and freaking out, Oh my goodness, the Habs are not meeting with him. But a lot of the people who weren't freaking out took a look at this tweet and they said, well, why the heck is he meeting with 20 teams? Out of the 20 teams that he meets with, probably only like three of them have a realistic chance of actually drafting him. Every other team is only going to be in the lottery with their 2 and 3% chances. And it doesn't take a genius to know that Lafreniere is going to be gone by that top two spot. The Canadians are in a position where they are indeed one of the teams who are in the lottery right now. But a lot of people are saying meeting with Lafreniere isn't going to change anything because everybody in Montreal knows that he's going to probably be first overall. It's kind of weird. Let's take a look at the Tankathon draft rankings right now. We can see Detroit has a pick in there. Ottawa has two top three picks right now. LA, Anaheim, New Jersey, Buffalo, Montreal, Chicago, New Jersey again because they traded for Arizona's pick. Minnesota, Winnipeg, the Rangers, Florida, Columbus, and then after we're past the draft lottery. These 
are 13 different teams. It's normally 15, but New Jersey has two picks and so do the Senators. This is a selection of 13 different teams, and if you eliminate Montreal, that brings it down to 12 teams. That means about eight teams who aren't even in the draft lottery interviewed Lafreniere too. Now, if you want to talk about pointless, that to me is probably the most pointless out of them all. If you're going to be in the playoffs, there is no way you are going to get Lafreniere unless you trade for a first round pick that becomes the first overall pick, or you lose out on the playoffs and you win the lottery. The likelihood of a team missing out on the playoffs and then winning the lottery is very, very slim. So to me, it doesn't really make the most sense to look at it and say, yeah, it would be a very valuable use of our time to interview Lafreniere. Devil's Advocate, though, because a lot of teams actually did interview Lafreniere, it kind of makes it seem like Montreal not interviewing him is a big deal. And I can totally understand why people would freak out about that. Hey, you know, if the Canadians draft first, are they not going to take Lafreniere? What's going on? I don't think that's going to happen, but obviously, when everybody else is doing it, when 19 other NHL teams, four of whom aren't even in the lottery race, are interviewing Lafreniere, it kind of feels weird to see your hometown team who's hosting the draft, who is not great, and who needs a top caliber prospect, not do it either. But again, if Montreal wins the draft lottery, they're taking Lafreniere. If they win second overall, they'll take Lafreniere if he's there, but if they won't, they're going to take Byfield. If they win the top three pick, then I have no idea. Raymond, Rossi, Stutzel, Askarov, whoever you want. But... It doesn't change the fact that Lafreniere is indeed going to be very good, and the Montreal Canadiens not interviewing him, to me, it's more of a sign of just trying to use their interview time a little bit more productively, because if it were up to me, I would guess the Habs are probably interviewing guys who are probably going to go in the top 15. They're taking a look at guys like Jan Mishak. They're taking a look at guys like Jack Quinn. They're taking a look at guys who may slip a little bit in the draft rankings, like an Alexander Holtz, for example, or a Noel Gundler. They're taking a look at guys in that range like Jake Sanderson. They're taking a look at guys that they have a much more realistic chance at drafting. Not the Alexi Lafreniere, who, according to the Tankathon odds today, is, what, a measly... 5% away, 6% away from Montreal. Obviously, the bias plays into it. Lafreniere is a Frenchie. He's a guy who's from Quebec. The draft is in Montreal, and that all of a sudden makes him the number one target. But seeing the Canadians not interview him doesn't mean they're not interested. It just means that they probably want to just use their time on other players. And frankly, the other teams interviewing Lafreniere, it's kind of unrealistically dumb to me too, because not every team is actually going to have a realistic chance at getting him. Now, does that dismiss the idea that Lafreniere absolutely will not come to Montreal? Not necessarily. It's like a 6% out of 100 chance of doing so, but, you know, it still would be very nice. Imagine a first line of Lafreniere, Kote Kanyemi, and Cole Caulfield. That would be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. My gosh. Just in case you needed a little bit of a refresher on how good Lafreniere has been, the guy was second, I believe, in CHL points this season. Second only to Marco Rossi, if I'm recalling correctly. But Lafreniere was indeed the best player in the QMJHL this year. He was one of the best players in the QMJHL last year. And that was just an absolute tear in his draft minus one. Lafreniere is going to be NHL ready, and he is going to suit up in the National Hockey League once the season starts. Once the 2020-2021 season starts, mind you, because we have no idea when that's going to start. But I have no doubts that Lafreniere is indeed going to be a very good player, and he does have 100-point potential in this league. So... It's obvious to see why Habs fans would be very, very interested, and it's obvious to see why Habs fans would be very, very scared when they learn that their favorite team is not interviewing the player when every other team who is in the draft lottery, and even more teams outside the draft lottery, is. 
So comment down below what you think about this Lafreniere thing. Are you scared? I'm personally not, and this video explained why. But if you're still scared, let me know in the comments down below why, and just give your thoughts overall about this whole situation, because it is kind of interesting. I don't want to say it's a grave foreshadowing of what's going to happen, but I do believe it is kind of interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this video, especially that Trost 99, and bye.